So now we're ready to actually send a message to our bot. So because we're running our bot from within a cPanel environment, uh, we can't actually listen for Facebook requests. When Facebook sends a request to us, uh, we currently have no way of um, you know, viewing the request and seeing what they said. So the way we do that um, with a cPanel server is we're going to go to cPanel and I've created, whoops, I've created a file called facebook.txt and every time Facebook sends us a request, we're going to um, write that request to a file and then we're going to display that on the screen. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, file get, whoops, file put contents. We want to uh, store it in facebook.txt and the, uh, the data we want to store is, whoops, and the data we want to store is uh, going to be file get contents and we're just going to pass it uh, this string called php colon forward slash forward slash and then we're going to write input. So we're going to save that and if I refresh this and load this you'll see we'll get a blank screen because it doesn't send the it doesn't print out the headers of the request it only sends us the body of the request which, but that's all we need for Facebook. So if I go to the Facebook page and I send a message to the bot, so I say hello world and I hit enter. If we had a server running in terminal, for example, we would be able to see that displayed um, straight away because we can, um, because we'd be listening for uh, Facebook to send us a request. But uh, using cPanel, all I have to do is go to our file now and refresh this. And within Chrome, I just have an, ex an extension this is just a JSON extension because Facebook sends us um, JSON uh, as their request and then we have to process that ourselves and then send them JSON back. So if I click raw, this is what Facebook actually sent and here is the parsed version. So as you can see, this is the text that I sent and it's stored in this text file. So that's it for this video. In the next part, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending a request and hopefully we'll be uh, using the data that Facebook sent us in this request to um, send personalized requests depending on what the user sent to us. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.